Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Trailmakers. Now since the new airborne update there's a load of new aircraft parts so I figured it might be fun to have a look at some of them and try and build some experimental aircraft and see whether they can actually fly. And thanks to my buddy Scrapman for the inspiration behind some of these builds. So the first one I'm looking at is this. It's called the Steeper Caproni. Uh, designed in 1932 so it's got a propeller at the front and basically the plane goes around the propeller. And essentially this is sort of like an early jet engine because the the engine exhaust sort of come out the back of the of the tube to give it a bit of extra thrust so we're going to start with the cockpit so that's going to be on top uh, then we're going to need a way of making a circle like a big hollow tube now, unfortunately the tube section in this game they're literally just like well they're literally just like one segment wide tube so we won't use those but i was thinking perhaps in aerodynamic parts we could sort of make this maybe out of different wedges i mean if we're doing a tube we may want to start with propellers so what size propulsion pe propellers we've got a large propeller oh that's quite big actually normal propellers only that size i know that there is we could make our own out of a helicopter engine so if i rotate that there's various size helicopter blades so we've got normal ones which are huge there's also shorter ones which obviously are a bit shorter so i guess diameter of circle doesn't really matter there'll probably be something to fit in so shall we try and just see what size diameter we can make out of these wedges so if we start with a two by four like that i can then copy that under Underneath, give it a rotate like that and then you can sort of see as i copy these down you can make a bit of a diagonal although you can also see that's not really that's not going to work with that propeller it's just going to hit there i mean maybe i could go a bit wider shove a gap in there so if i copy this to that side is that going to work or do i need like a two by three i feel like that's probably gonna hit isn't it yeah let's do two by threes i reckon now, i'm gonna turn on mirror mode as well which does mean i gotta delete those because mirror mode needs things to be mirrored but two by three is that looking better it might be so we've got that i feel like we're just gonna need like i'm gonna need constantly changing pieces so maybe there that's actually too wide i want to go back to the one i had the two by four like that i'll tell you what i'm actually gonna copy this blade and shove that on this propeller because then all i need to do is get to like oh i can sort of see i've cocked up already because i've just got to get to like the middle of those two and that's got to be the center sort of thing they're actually actually let me let me copy all of this and give it a rotate like that because then I can move it down to here. Yeah, so now I can see I'm sort of, I've actually, actually, if I move that out, is that right? I think that's the four wide. Let me, do I have a four? Four by eight block. That could work. Shove that under there. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's actually, that's nearly done. So if I then just connect those together with a, with a couple of those, we've sort of, we've made a, we've made the ring. Okay, so now we just grab that, copy back and copy down oh look it actually it mirrored it nice so i've made a massive barrel that will actually allow this thing to work assuming that we get forward momentum with these helicopter blades i imagine we will helicopter blades just rotating forwards it'll move forwards right uh, this is super sized compared to the actual original though but let's just see if this flies and then we'll try and shrink it down to a more realistic scale so i've just extended the barrel i've moved the cockpit back i'm going to try and make this somewhat aerodynamic add in those like that then since this is a plane we do need wings of course so we've got a few different types of wings i guess we go the modular wing I guess is the biggest one. So the wings in the real one are sort of in line with the cockpit there. So we can then just copy those back. And then I'm going to shove one of these on the end. That should give us the steering that we need. Although actually, why, why are you that way around? There we go. So that's wings done. We then just need the tail stuff. So I might try using these wing flaps for the do the up and downness. So yeah, if I have those at the back set up to S and W, I think that should be pretty good. Then the tail fin sort of it was huge. It spanned the entire barrel of this thing. Oh, actually, look, they, they have elevator fins already. Oh, okay, I'll get rid of those. I'll shove. I'll shove these elevators there because that's what we actually want. And I assume they are set up to S and W already. Yeah, they're auto set up. But yeah, in order to do the tail fin, I think if I'm using these modular wings, because they're like, can you see they're not symmetrical? I think I'll probably need two of these. So if we just go like that, copy these down. And then my plan was to replace some of these with the wing flap ones. And that should give me my steering. So I think let's turn off mirror mode. So this one, in order for the plane to turn left, I want the red one to move, so that's going to be A. So we do A and 
D. And then this one, it's the opposite, right? So D and A. Okay, I think that works. Okay, I'm going to shove a normal tail fin on the top of this like that. Then we got to connect the engine. So I think this is an engine already, right? Yeah, speed. I can wang the speed up to 10. Whether that will be enough, don't know. Um, and then forward, I guess we just want space bar to go. Then just like the real one, we can just connect this to the tube with some well, tubes. So you can see that's now connected. And then finally, we just need some wheels. So I think we'll use the sloping tubes down here. And I'll probably delete one of those. And then, yeah, just have the wheels come out. Can I, can I do them steeper, actually? Yeah, so we got wheel there. Another one on that side. At the back, I'll use these landing wheels. All right, and so there we go. There is our Spitter Caproni. Uh, question is, do, oh, no. Oh, no. What's it doing? There's no forward movement. Oh, have I got the... I think I may have done the... Well, either the propeller blades the wrong way around or just the direction of them. So, do these blades have a front and back? No, they look completely symmetrical to me. So, let's try just changing the direction. So, rather than space on that one, we've got space on that one. So, is this any better? Oh, <laughs> Oh, it looks so good. I thought it was going to work. I mean, two options. I could try stacking propellers. Because I feel like Chinooks and stuff, that's what they do. Or I could literally just try, like, some of the some of the other things. I mean, I guess whilst the propeller's there, let's stack some propellers. So, stackable helicopter engine. Wang it in there. Say, base for that weight. Power up to 10. Then, yeah, the propellers. Oh, the propellers are going opposite directions. We are just moving backwards for some reason. <laughs> um... Interesting. All right, so I've changed the front propellers. Now they just do the exact same thing. So that's the initial problem we had. Then if I change the back one, if I can click it, go that way instead. Is that how these work? It matters like what the top propellers do. No, these do just go backwards now. <laughs> what? I mean, we have thrust. What if I stack one more engine just to give, like, the forward momentum a little bit more? So, yeah, so you can see the front and back are doing the same. The middle one's doing something different. So, the <laughs> <laughs> this thing, this thing, this this thing does not fly. Actually, actually, I've just realised these blades, although they're symmetrical, like left and right, up and down they're not. Oh, that's probably just it, isn't it? I didn't need all these blades. Oh no. Okay, so yeah, I, I think I've just gotta, I've just gotta rotate them all. So I can probably go back to a single blade as well. But sod it. Whilst they're all on there, I may as well, may as well leave as is. Okay, so that's all the blades now facing the opposite direction. So now, I mean, sort of take off. Um, I think it's spinning because I have an odd number of blades. I think, yeah, yeah, so that makes sense. That's why you generally have the double blades. Because if you don't have the tail fin on a helicopter, you generally have the, the double blades because that stops you spinning. Yeah, so let's just delete. Oh, let's just delete the front one. This actually makes sense now. I'm sure there's people screaming at the screen as to me being an idiot. Uh, so I guess it works. I feel like now the trouble is we don't exactly have the forward momentum. Um, <laughs> look how slow we're going. So I guess the way around that is literally just to, just to double and triple up the amount of wings we have. So I'll just copy those to there. Get rid of these blocks that I couldn't uncopy. Get loads of blades. Shove them back in. So that should have three times the thrust. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. It's... <laughs> It's sucking itself to the floor. There's, there was so much power. Okay, maybe I've got too many blades now. So yeah, I guess that is the trouble with like jet engines. They suck in so much air. It just does that. I mean, actually, we can turn forces on in this update. We can look at the... Oh, it doesn't actually show us the center of thrust because you're not meant to use helicopter blades to go forwards, I guess. But with just two blades, that seems to be a good balance. We might actually be able to take off. Yes, 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 it's flying. It's flying. It's sort of flying. It's it's sinking. Still, that was amazing. Let's just try. I was going to say swapping with a propeller, but look how much smaller the propellers are. <laughs> I could try and shrink this thing, but it's still... I mean, the bigger this diameter is, the more circular it's going to be. To try and get around that, it's just going to be like, well, like a square probably. I mean, to be fair, that's actually not too bad. Few moments later. All right, so I've sort of made a mini version with a propeller. I feel like before I go too far, I should probably see if I actually have the power to move forwards. So let's go. Uh, not not looking like it. I mean, maybe if I have some wheels. All right, okay, I've got wheels. Let's Let's see. Oh, it does. Oh, it does have thrust. It has loads of thrust. Okay, so here we go. I've moved the tail fins and stuff to the back. Let's see how we get on. Oh, no, there's a hole in the runway. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. It's fine. All right, come on. Power. Power. Let's pull up. This thing does not have a lot of power. Oh, 
Is it flying? I'm not sure if it's flying. I think it's just falling. Oh, fair enough. This version, I've added three times the propellers down there. So we now have three times the thrust. So uh, hopefully, as we get to the end of this thing, we have... Yes, we have flight. We actually have flight. Yes, we did it. Oh, no, I've gone... Oh, no, I did not mean to fly through here. I did not mean to fly through here. That was pilot error. But yeah, basically, this thing flies like an absolute dream. Oh, I got my butt wet there. So let's go take a look at a different aircraft now. So this is the Lee Richards annular monoplane. They're essentially a flying saucer with a hole in the middle. I guess it sort of looks like a flying toilet seat. Yeah, but I recently discovered in this game, it's possible to make like curved things like that by using these steering hinges. So essentially, if we we take a steering hinge and we shove it there that way round with the with the left and right like that. We can then shove a wing next to it. And then in the configure, if we set this up so that maybe T and then we'll do that as toggle, then we can change the angle to be, I don't know, like 20. I feel like 20 could be okay. And then when we actually get in this and press T, can you see the wings have moved? I forgot to mirror it on the other side. I needed to do minus 20. That's because we were mirrored. So that needs to be, well, rather than change the angle, I can literally just change that one to T and toggle. So now when we press T, they all move slightly, which means if we stack loads of them, so we just go copy, 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 and the same on the other side, then essentially when we press T, Oh, we almost end up with a circle. Yeah, so look at that. Look at that. So now if we just change the cockpit to be in the middle, so it's more like the actual plane, we can move both the wings out one and then shove another wing in the middle to hold it all together. You then want a propeller at the front or even maybe a large propeller. Also, I just realized there was a large propeller. Why didn't I use that for my last vehicle? Why did I do normal propeller? I'm an idiot. Yeah, I think for now we'll just do normal propeller and then we just got to try and get this thing to meet so that we are in the middle. Oh, that's actually, that's nearly perfect. So I can move us forward one, make us a bit more aerodynamic, copy that to the back and then if we go a little bit further let's just see where that lines up okay we got a bit of a bit of a stick at the end which is good because we're going to want the elevator fins probably those on the end so all of our steering is happening at the back of the plane so we've got that we then need some wheels so let's shove one at the back like that a couple at the front and then let's hope this thing doesn't fall over so let's get inside i mean like now it looks like just a normal plane sort of but when we press t oh man <laughs> it actually looks quite like it i mean i probably should do my wheels a little bit wider so we're not starting on the wonk but uh, let's oh my god we took off straight away we took off straight away we are actually flying i was not expecting that at all what happens if i press t in the air does oh we just turn into a giant plane <laughs> i think it actually flew better as as a flying saucer so we go like that we even landed briefly. Definitely does fly. It's not the most stable thing in the world. I don't think I'm really... I'm not exactly choosing where we fly. But you can't say we are not flying. Let me just see. If I set these up a bit differently so I have a bit more control. Oh, no. I can't give them multiple controls. I mean, I could replace some of these front ones. The ones that are facing forward with the flap wings. All right. Is that actually helping? It might be. Yeah, I think it is. We're actually flying. We are actually flying where we want to go. Oh, man, this is awesome. <laughs> Wait, are we flying where we want to go? I don't think we are. Maybe it was just a fluke at first. No, we are. We definitely are, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's... <laughs> That was the Lee Richards annular monoplane. Uh, this was a UK invention, by the way. So technically, the birth of the UK Space Agency, potentially. But uh, let's go on to our next plane. And again, we're going to be using a similar concept. Except for with this one, we're going to be rotating these hinges that way and swapping the propeller with a jet. Because yes, like when I made it in KSP, we're going to be making the Lockheed Ring Wing. Um, and I feel like because this is so big i may need like like several layers of wing because i need forward and sideways momentum sort of but yeah to start with i think i'll just search on the workshop for some sort of boeing I mean, actually is there is there a lockheed maybe someone's already made this could have saved myself some time oh i think i found one that'll save me loads of time awesome but yeah essentially i think that's what i was gonna build sort of editor if you just put a meme in there that says i'm a liar i hate you so oh my goodness did you see that so as soon as we come out of the build camera it auto like Oh, it auto does it. Okay, maybe this is better than I would have built. But let's just see what happens if we take off. Oh, it literally... Okay, okay, there's 
There's literally no control. I reckon I reckon I can make this better. So as before, I think all we need to do is replace some of the... Oh, they are flap wings already. Did they not do anything? DNA. No, you don't want DNA. I mean, you do. Otherwise, you'll probably die. But we want those to pull up. So red will make us pull up. So that's going to be S and then W. Same with the front one, S. W. And honestly, although they're curved, I reckon we probably want to do the same with the next one. So let's delete those two wings. Copy these ones with the flaps. Do the same on this side. Color this in my own color scheme so it looks like I made it all myself. <laughs> all right. So when I pull up, you can see all the flaps go like that. When I pull down, oh, hang on, the right ones, the right ones are doing their own thing. All right. They should be identical. Literally all the settings are the same. Don't know why they weren't. Now, one thing I have noticed, the top of the wings, can you see like they still, well, they're sort of upside down by that point. I don't think we want that. So I think these end wings, we probably want to rotate them. So they're upside down like that, which means they will be right side up, if that makes sense, by the time it's it's wrapped around. And then because these are flap wings, you want to do the S and W, but reversed. So I think S, W. Okay, so now if you pull up, if you look at the top wings, yeah, they go the right way. Okay, nice. This may steer better. I mean, it might actually take off. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hmm. All right, let's try again without a hole in the runway. Why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> oh, no. Whoa, what is... Why did it do that? Honestly, I think it's because these flaps are stuck out and I don't know how to move them. Let's literally just try deleting and then copying from this side. Aha, they're not stuck out anymore. Okay, good. I can actually move them. Decent. So now we're going straight. Pull up. Nah, gotta stop taking off where there's a hole in the runway, I think. So let's go. Let's get this thing flying. We're pulling up. We're pulling up. Pulling up doesn't work. Oh, no. All right, what I'm thinking, instead of how we have it, so I feel like the forces, they're probably all coming in. So if I rather, if I rotate like every other one, that could create some balance. So I feel like the drag is probably working one way. All right, so now we pull up. Are we flying? No, we're not flying. Oh, I've just remembered something. We now have the forces toggler, so we can see exactly what's going on. I reckon I just need to bring the wings forward. All right, come on, let's go. Has this worked? Pull up pull up. It's not exactly pulling up. It's just going straight down. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to have a tweak and we'll see what we come up with. All right. He's only gone and done it and it was simpler than I thought as well. At the back, you can see I've added a little weight block in the middle and then a few little flaps. Yes, I know the flaps are cheating, but it, it needed them. It needed them in all honesty. The extra leverage to get us upright and vertical is good. I also found out this thing has retractable landing gear. So we'll shove those back in. But yeah, essentially this thing flies and it flies pretty nicely. I mean, it's a little bit wobbly. You need to hold backwards constantly pretty much. Like if I if I let go, we do start to nosedive and then it swivels like that. But uh, I can sort of steer this thing. He says as he goes towards a massive rock, maybe I can't, maybe I can't. But if there wasn't dry error, I would say this thing actually flies pretty damn nicely, even if the tail fins at the back are sort of cheating a little bit. So yeah, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was creating some experimental aircraft in Trail Makers. Let me know if there's any others that I should be checking out. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and ring wings. Bye, guys.